Happy Monday, Privacy Duck family. This is Will McAdam back with a new video on opting out more of your information from the interwebs. So uh, today we are going to look at one of the newer sites that we cover on our premium privacy service right over here. Um, it's also one of the higher ranking sites out in the land of uh, data pillaging as it were, privacy of the Caribbean, I don't know. And so let's uh, look at locatefamily.com. Uh, you might have seen locatefamily.com if you Google yourself with your city and state. Um, it might hang out on page two or three, but it is definitely there. Um, and it looks a little intimidating to try to find how to opt out of it and how to handle it and all that fun. So we're going to break this down uh, really fast for you guys, really simple here. You will need an uh, email address uh, for this opt-out here. So um, some of our other videos we've recommended you go to uh, Gorilla Mail or throwawaymail.com or just mail.aol.com to make yourself a uh, email address just to use and have for these purposes here. So you, you will need that, so going to get that ready. But um, once you Google yourself, you'll pretty much uh, find your list in here. We just did somebody totally random, uh, again, not a client or anybody, it was just a common name. We did a search for a locatefamily.com for a James Smith in Chicago, Illinois. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and click on this example listing, and we're just going to pick a... Uh, name at random. I, I guess there's no one named James Smith living in Chicago, but we have a Judith Smith. It's a very fancy name, and I like that. So we're going to go ahead and opt her out here. So how we're going to go about that is once you have your record, your page pulled up here, um, you don't have to click on it or anything or click on background report. Leave it in the index view you see here. Um, sometimes it pops up as a linear grid instead of these boxes. Either way, the same approach works. Uh, don't let that throw you off if yours looks a little bit different. So you'll want to go directly to locatefamily.com backslash contact.html. And that's where you'll see the link right here to the removal page. So go ahead and click on that, which takes you to locatefamily.com backslash removal html you can come directly here if you want to or uh you know get to from the contact page from the contact page um either way works so once you're there go ahead and scroll down and now you'll want to enter your information uh the important part here is you will want the information you see here to match what is on your record um i know some people um are generally like, oh, I don't want to give them my real information. Well, they already have, it's already here. So uh, you have to confirm that information to opt out that information. If you confirm fake information, that won't help. So that's actually a thing that people do a lot, which is weird. So uh, don't do that. Uh, so Jim Smith right here, we're gonna opt out this record. So we'll want our opt out request here again to mirror exactly this record so when it asks us on this contact or removal page for our name and telephone we're going to copy it as the telephone number appears here uh, let's go ahead and you know highlight that then you can right click and hit copy right click again and hit paste and you'll put the name in the same. It does not have to be the, uh, as type same, I meant Smith. Um, it does not have to be, you know, the, the last name first, comma, first name. As you see on the side, just your name is fine here as first and last. So do that, you know, so Judith Smith, there you go, phone number. Um, enter a valid email address. I already made an email in the last step for this. So I'm just uh, going to use that here. I just, you know, did a random weird email address uh, for this. So we'll confirm that here. Now it will ask you for the URL. Uh, this is one of the most common questions we get on our videos about, hey, what is exactly the URL? Where do I find that? 
I am using a Mac book right now, um, and I'm on Chrome, Google Chrome. However, no matter what computer you are using or what browser, um, if you're using a PC, a Gateway, an IBM, whatever have you, or you're using Chrome or Netscape, I guess it was from the 90s still, um, or if you're using, you know, uh, Firefox or anything, it will always be in this little white bar at the top. You know, um, that's going to be the URL, also known as the web address, or anything along those lines, is we're going to find that. So when it asks you for the URL here, it's asking for the actual page address that your record is found. So right here up in the little white bar, copy that, right click with your mouse, hit copy, that will be your URL and paste it right in here. That's where it lives. It's very happy. Um, you know, you know that's where it lives. A little thing from the Bob Ross paintings. It's on Netflix if you want to watch some Netflix after our YouTube video. So, but um, entry number right here. Uh, what is the entry number? Well, let's go back to our page here and look. Um, entry number will be this little number right here, this two. Um, this is the second entry on this page. Uh, obviously, <laughs> this goes down to number 80. So, you know, you have to identify the record that you want removed. Um, in this case, for an example, we're just doing this one example record. So I'm just going to put two in here. Um, now, you might have more than one record on that page. If you do, that is fine. You can get all of these in one opt-out request as long as the URL is the same. If you're on a different URL for a different name, a maiden name, or you know, past life name or anything you might have, you know, you'll need to go and do a whole separate uh, opt-out request from the ground up for that link. But if it's on the same page, go ahead and type in, you know, Two, sixteen, forty, you know, whatever your records might be. Um, but again, in this example, it's only this one record two. You can choose to be updated um, here. If you choose that option, um, what that means is you'll be sent an email notification about the changes um, to your record when they happen. That means they do um, store your email address. Uh, we haven't seen that be a big problem yet, but things always change. So that's totally up to you um, if you want to click on that or not. It doesn't matter. Um, but down here in the comments, you know, again, please always keep in mind. Um, I know we get this habit in the internet, a lot of automation. Keep in mind when you're doing things online like this, you are talking to real people. You are dealing with real people who have hearts and souls and everything. So, you know, like a little friendly note here is always nice. Please remove me. Um, say I am a victim of identity theft. Thank you. You know, mind your P's and Q's, be nice, and that gets stuff done a little bit faster usually. So, um, again, to do that, you know, we don't have to, you know, go off on a tangent about our end up privacy to these people. P.S. It doesn't matter. They're just per project people to opt stuff out here. So, a little nice comment here. Uh, gets done faster and more complete usually. Go ahead and hit submit at that point in time and you'll receive uh, an email message confirming your request. In all honesty, those email messages only really come from Locate Family about half the time. Um, but uh, in, I would say, really 100% of our experience in dealing with this site the last few months, they've honored those removal requests uh, immediately. Um, not immediately, but you know, in a few days, you know, and, and they've been solid. So if you don't get a confirmation email, don't stress or worry about it. Just check back up on it in a few days. I'd say about five days time um, and uh, see if you're still there. And if you are, do a second request. You know, it's not a big deal. Uh, if you're not there, then it worked. And it's awesome. So uh, leave any questions or comments you have about this process in the description field in the video. I will uh, respond to those. Always love talking with all of you um, on here about it. So please also like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends uh, and coworkers on social media. We greatly appreciate that. And uh, if you have any questions, you know, uh, send us an email at services at privacyduck.com 
or give us a call at 415-320-1845. We love all of you. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. We greatly appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.